Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Rusk and Fly. It's a little breezy. <laughs> All right, so, you know, this is one of those days where I normally, because it's like gusty, I would probably back off, but like, no. I'm like, you can't, you can't always just fly when the wind is perfect and all that kind of stuff. Now, there is a gust factor that I have to be careful of. And so, because if it's too much of a crosswind, it will blow the plane off the, off the runway. So they won't want to do that. And there's a nice stiff, you know, looks like it's like a right quartering headwind as I'm looking at the windsock over there. Um, and it's it's pretty robust. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenging flight. And that's the reason why I'm actually taking this flight today because I know it's, you know, a little breezy. Um, so theoretically, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to a new airport. Um, it is Monmouth Executive. Actually, I've been there before, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. So we'll have to see, cause it's 1230. I have to have this plane back by three and it's in half an hour. So you would think it's enough. So what I may do is scrap that plan and just go up and just try to do some maneuvers, which I haven't done in a while. Um, but just to kind of deal with this wind, that's the, that's the mission dealing with the wind. All right, so let's get this engine started and uh, we'll go on up and see what's going on, all right? All right, so we did our pre-inspection, passenger briefing, I don't have a passenger, where we talk about the seat belts, the fire extinguisher, etc. cetera. Um, seat belts are adjusted and locked. Fuel selector is on both. Avionics are off, electrical switches are off, circuit breakers are all in. Checklist is a must. Um, okay, brakes hold and set. Mixture is going to go full rich. Carburetor heat is cold. Anti-collision beacon and nav light are on. Master switch is going to go on. I already did a little bit of prime. Throttle open the half inch. Clear the area. Clear prop. All right, let's see what we got. Alpha uniform. Started right on up. I can feel the plane being blown around a little bit. It's crazy. All right, so we got our weather, and let's go up and check our brakes. And brakes feel good. All right. And one of the things that's kind of crazy is I can really feel this wind kind of kicking, kicking her around a little bit. Yeah, it's like a nice direct crosswind gonna be fun I haven't done a crosswind takeoff in quite some time and as you can see I have some crosswind correction going in even as I am taxi and so one of the things that I'm really focused on is just staying on top of all of my procedure using checklists all that good stuff but yeah this is this is nothing to play with you gotta you gotta be on top of your p's and q's and so i'm definitely not going to uh, mess around so gonna go up here pretty soon you see there's a plane in front of me there's a couple people in the pattern and you know some folks coming around so i'm gonna do my run up and uh, we'll go out to the east we'll see what's going on We'll see what our timing is, look like our ground speed. All right, so that plane is departing. I'm pulling up. I've just finished my run up and just checked my checklist just to make sure I got all of the items. And so while he departs, I'm going to do my before takeoff checklist. All right, cabin doors and windows closed and latched. Seat belts are secure. Engine gauges are all in the green and fuel quantity is sufficient for what I'm doing today. Uh, flight controls, so that one's down, that one's up, that one's down, that one, that one's down, that one's up. Okay, flight controls full, full flight controls full, feel <laughs> free and correct. Trims are set for takeoff, both rudder and trim. Flaps as needed, mixture is full rich, carburetor heat is cold gonna turn on our taxi landing light not gonna worry about strobes nav light is on throttle friction let's check that and pedal heat as required and doorstone traffic 734 alpha uniform departing 
All right, make sure you put that crosswind correction in, Russell. And really be checking to see how your engine is performing. Just be prepared for any interesting gusts or anything of the same. All right, aileron into the wind. All right, I see two, three. Two, three, and two, three. All right, hills to the floor, full power. All right, engine instruments in the green. Oil temp, oil pressure, suction, all look good. Airspeed is coming alive. Ooh. And she popped up quick. I keep forgetting I'm not in little Sammy. Yeah, so I got a nice little crosswind. Wow, cro climbing like a rocket. I keep forgetting, so the last plane I flew was Little Sammy. <laughs> so, I mean, that was just the exoda going quick. And door sound traffic, 734 Alpha Uniform. Left cross turn out to the east, last call, door sound. Wow, that was like so quick how that thing popped up like that. And not used to climbing out at a thousand feet a minute. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was crazy. Yeah, I just had to look out for some traffic before I got back on my navigation going up three five man i had to stomp on this rudder boy <laughs> i forget how much rudder sometimes you need an alpha uniform no joke all right so welcome everybody to cessna 734 alpha uniform my favorite cessna 172 and uh, i got in here man and was like Woo -wee! that takeoff was crazy and a lot of times, like, people, I mean, I'm, I'm flying, you know, a little Sammy, and I forget how, you know, the difference in horsepower is not significant for those of you who fly more high-performance airplanes. But certainly for me, it is uh, nothing to be messed with. <laughs> and getting ready to go over Trent Mercer. Their class Delta, their airspace is from the surface to 2700. I am at 3500 and 3600. And so I'm above their airspace. I could have done a uh, landing there. All right, so I think my plan, as I had planned to do, definitely needs to change because of the time. I just don't want to step on anybody's time. And I just need a good hour. And so, we'll see. What I may do is uh, a couple steep bank turns, get out here a little bit where it seems to be a little less traffic, and uh, use, a, use a landmark here to do a steep bank turn. I haven't done them in a while. Yeah, I'm, I've been all, kind of all over the place with my altitude. So that's something I gotta make sure I'm staying on top of. All right, so we are currently flying over Princeton. Princeton University. It's kind of hard to see. I think I see it down there. And I see Princeton Airport. Right, doing a climbing turn back to the west and just flying. So just gaining some more altitude here. All right, let's do this. So I'm going to slow down some maneuvering speed here. Mixture's full, rich car beat is cold. All right, so I'm at 6.5. Got that traffic in sight. There's a lot of people around here today. <laughs> Man, I tell you, one thing I love I mean, flying is just so amazing. I haven't really done much on this flight. You can see I've just kind of come out, up, turn, climb. As you can see, I'm all over the place on this flight. The wind was doing weird things. There was a lot of traffic around Trenton Mercer. Now I understand why they come over to Doylestown because that airspace was so crowded. So. Rather than belabor all of the stuff that I was trying to do, my original flight plan went out the window. Trying to think about going maneuvers went out the window. <laughs> it's just in this, but the, the, they, the, the great thing about flying is even though nothing went as planned, it was still a great flight. And Doyle Town traffic, 734 Alpha Uniform, left downward, one way, two, three, Doyle Town. I'm a beam. 
All right, so let's slow this puppy down. I got to get in flat range because I was had a little bit more speed than I wanted. Oh. And that way we can start to configure. Power to 1500. All right, first notch of flaps. Let's get this nose coming down. And Dawgstown traffic, Cessna 734, Alpha Uniform, left base from right 23, Dawgstown. All right, stay coordinated. Stay on top of your game. Don't play around. This wind is doing some funky stuff. Let's get that second notch of flaps. Yes, it is bouncy, baby, bouncy. And Dawgstown traffic, Cessna 734, Alpha Uniform, turning final, runway 23, Dawgstown. Stay coordinated, stay coordinated. All right, so it's time to get this baby on the ground. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this landing approach than I normally do because it was challenging. Yeah, third notch of flaps. Stay coordinated. If you don't like it, go around. All right, we're crabbing pretty good. Don't get too slow. <laughs> Flaps up. Woo, Lord have mercy. That was no joke, y'all. That was no joke. You can see I was kind of all over the place. But at the last minute we got it, I had to add a little touch of power. And I was getting ready to do a go around because I'm like, all right, I'm bouncing around a whole lot. But just that touch of power really helped out a lot. So. In Doorstown traffic, Cessna 734 Alpha Uniform, clear runway 23, Doorstown. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to have to hurry up and get out the plane because I only have it to 1.30, and there's nine minutes. <laughs> so i got to pack up all my crap. So anyway, thank you so much for flying with me. I really appreciate it. This is just a really quick one. Um, but, yeah, I definitely wanted to challenge myself on that crosswind. You can see what the sock is doing. It's, it's across the runway, and it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty stiff. So anyway, thank you for flying with me, Russ Kid. Russ can fly him out. Peace.